Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the different types of teeth which are present inside our mouth. So the first we will talk about are the incisors, canine, premolars and molars. So these are the four types of teeth which are present. So let us uh, learn about each of them. So we'll start with incisors. So there are total eight incisors present inside the mouth. Now when I say eight, four of them are on the top and four are on the bottom. So in fact, these are the first teeth to erupt. So they uh, grow somewhere around the age of six months. So basically the front four teeth on the top and the front four teeth. So this is one, two, three, four on the top and again one, two, three, four on the bottom. So these eight teeth are incisors. And now in kids also, in kids they grow when they are around six months old. And then again that primary teeth set is gone. And then again the new in the permanent set, again these are the first ones to grow when they are 6 to 8 years of old. So they are located at the center. They help in biting food. So that is why you will see that these teeth, the front teeth, they have quite a sharp, uh, not a very sharp end as such, but yeah, not very thick end as well. So they are just used for biting food, not for chewing exactly. The next set is canine and they are total four in number. So where are they located? They are just located next to the incisors. So this one, two, three and four. So these are the canines and they are the sharpest teeth. So they are very sharp. So if you want, you can just check in your inside your mouth and you will see that these teeth, they have a, a sharp end like this. So you can see the feel the pointed end. end. So their purpose is to tear food. Now since they have a very sharp end, they can actually tear out things while chewing. The third types are premolars and they are again 8 in number. So total 4 on the top and 4 on the down, towards the down. So they these teeth, now they help in actually chewing stuffs. So if you look at the premolars, they help in grinding food and they are like quite strong as well. So premolars are here. 1, 2... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So these are the premolars and these premolars they do not exist in the primary set of teeth. So in kids they do not exist but when the permanent teeth set come up that time these premolars are present and they help in grinding. So that is why you would have seen that when we eat something so when you bite it you bite it with the front teeth but when you are chewing it so then you actually do it from the from your sides, sides of your mouth. That's because that is where the premolars and the molars are located. And finally, the molars, they are broad chewing surfaces with multiple cusps. So as you go towards the end, you see that your teeth, each tooth has multiple cusps, one like this, one like this. So you basically feel as if they are two teeth, one on the front, one on the back, and both of them have been joined. That's how you feel when you reach the molars. So these molars have a very broad chewing surface. So if you look at their surface here on the top, it is quite broad and that's how they help in chewing. Now these molars can be further classified as first molars, second molars and third molars because you have a total 12 molars. So here you have three, this side you have three, again this side you have three and here you have three. So that's how you have three sets of I mean total 12 molars and these molars are again first molars here second molars here and third molars are the cornermost which are also known as the wisdom teeth so these wisdom teeth they generally appear at the last so they appear even when a person is around 25 or 30 years of age or even uh, at an older age these uh, the third molars appear that is the wisdom tooth they appear now as I said the first molars here we have the first molars this is the first molar first molar here also you have the first molars here first molars here right so they are total four in number they help in grinding food so they are the first molars and these first molars they appear when a person is around six years at 
of age so that is the time when the first molars appear so out of these three types of molars first molars appear at first then appears the second molars they are also four in number so they are just next to the first molars here so these second molars they also all of these molars they all help in grinding food because of their flat broad surface and finally the third molars which are the like which are like the cornermost teeth on each side of your mouth these are also known as wisdom teeth and they are the last ones to develop sometimes they don't even come at all and sometimes uh, they they find it they give a lot of trouble trouble while coming up so there are a lot of issues faced by a lot of people uh, with the wisdom teeth so that's how the arrangement of teeth is inside our mouth and due to their special shape and structure for example canines being very sharp they help in tearing food molars and premolars being very strong and having a very uh, flat biting surface they help in grinding food whereas the incisors being the front teeth they help in biting food so all of them have got uh, different structures and therefore different purposes but all the 32 teeth together they help us in breaking down complex food into simple food particles now when we talk about teeth it is very important that proper care of teeth is taken that's because a tooth decay can take place very easily because a tooth because our teeth are actually dealing with food particles now what happens is uh, when we chew food particles there are chances that food particles get accumulated in some or the other corner of the teeth now if we do not clean our teeth properly there are chances that the food particles will remain accumulated there for a couple of days or a couple of months and gradually that area being warm and moist will allow microorganisms to grow for example bacteria might grow there and they might start living there and these bacteria then later can cause breakdown of sugar to release acids and that's how they can damage your teeth so in order to protect your teeth it is very important that you clean your teeth properly you brush at least twice a day whenever you eat something you make sure that you rinse your uh, mouth properly so that there, there are no leftover food particles present inside your teeth so that's how we can take proper care of teeth thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.